Okay, continuation of this last episode of breaking the ridgeline. <laughs> Not over the ridgeline, but breaking the ridgeline. Okay, so today's kind of a crappy day, but I'm meeting my new friend James. He was the one in the Land Cruiser. Land Cruiser. On the last episode. He's gonna come with me to go get my truck off the mountain. So, I appreciate you, man. That's, I, I do, thank you. And uh, let's go get this thing. There's one new element to this retrieval though. Check out this weather. It's a little bit inclement weather. And quite frankly, all these snow mountains are snow capped. Where the clouds are is the snow line right now. So that adds a new element to everything. Hopefully it goes well. I'm sending prayers to the big man upstairs. That way, make sure we can get this thing off the mountain efficiently, effectively, and uh, smoothly. Wish us luck. Enjoy the, enjoy the video. Hopefully this is entertaining for you. Be sure to like, share, subscribe. I appreciate you guys your land cruiser and I appreciate you guys support let's do this All right, James is here. Whoa, whoa! All right, we're gonna be climbing in, getting this sh taken care of. Ciao, buddy! <laughs> Time to go retrieve this sucker, huh? Yeah, go get a truck in the rain, huh? Yeah, I know what it's. I was like, ah, oh, crap, all the snow on the mountaintops. I was like, this is fantastic. It's gonna be a rough one, but <laughs> yeah. we'll make it happen. Yeah. All right, I'll get my tools and stuff and we'll load them up. All right, we're here. James is getting his rig off i'm gonna give him a hand and uh get the tools and stuff loaded and we'll get on the trail gotta air down the beast land food though air down just got to load tools and we'll be ready here he is here's here's renegade <laughs> getting parts be right back three days later it's not damaged it doesn't look like it it's not too cold we're gonna have to Fix that beast right there. All right, just getting lined out. Just loosen the lug nuts. We gotta jack this up, and then hopefully it'll come right out, and things will get repaired. We'll be out of here in like an hour. That'd be ideal. Wish us luck. I'm probably not gonna record a ton, but I'm gonna try to record the process a little bit so you guys know how to do this on a Honda Ridgeline. Because obviously. You probably haven't needed to do this. <laughs> so I'll do it for you. <laughs> so follow along. All right, so we got our, all our tools, our parts and everything. Got the tire off, got it jacked up on jack stands. So all we do is gotta take this off right here. 
and take the boot off and then take this piece off, thread a new one on, and we should be golden. Let's hope it works that way. <laughs> so we'll just use these this pair of dice to get this piece off, that sleeve. So we're gonna lift up that, crack that with the screwdriver and spray some WD-40 in there, and it should be golden. And then we just gotta pop that clamp off the back. Yep. Should be good. Sorry. I mean, not sorry, but sorry. Let me get a. Let's wait for that guy. Let's go open up the lighter. Yeah, the smaller screwdriver. Okay. Make sure your jack stands are in good places. So that just fell. Luckily, uh, everything should be okay. Stuck that tire under there. Yeah. Everybody That's why you don't lay under it while you're working on it, on the trail. Still got all their fingers and toes, we're good. Yeah. So check this out. So not only did it bend here, but it also bent at the ball itself. Check that out. That is pretty wild. So we're gonna replace that. Should be good to go. As soon as we jack it back up. <laughs> All right, so getting the tool, you have all these different things. I just rented it from Napa. And then able to find the right piece that fits it. So then I'm just going to slide it inside this like so. Slide it on there and wrench it off. All right, so because we don't have everything that does look like the right piece and right size, we just got to put some thread lock on that. But the new washer... These notches are actually, on the new one, are actually a little bit fatter, so they don't fit. So we're going to reuse this one, slide it in there, everything should be golden. And these actually go right on there, right in those notches there, just like that, and holds that in there, locks that in. All right, got that piece off. Don't know if I showed it already, but bent at the ball and there. So that is what the issue was, for sure. Looks like everything should be good to go. We're just gonna pop off the uh, outer tie rod and um, just pop that out, then thread everything back in. Should be golden. All right, we're just threading that thing on there. Something James just showed me getting these outer tie rods, I thought you had to smack from the bottom. You just smack right here on the hub, vibrate right out. Just smack it right there, pops it right out. Had no idea what the man, you know? So we're gonna get this thing tightened on there and then thread it back in. If you had spare one of those in the box, you'd have been back on the road in no time. It yeah. Takes 20 minutes. Yeah, with filming. Yeah. <laughs> so. Yeah, man, that's uh, so Honda Ridgelines. If you're gonna off road, make sure you carry spare inner tie rods, they're very simple. Done, but you know what? <laughs> we just forgot to put the boot on, as you saw in that. So, <laughs> we're gonna now take off the tie rod again, uh, the outer tie rod again, and then slide the boot on, and then we'll put it back together and we'll be done. So, an extra five minutes, easy peasy, easy. <laughs> we did it once, we can do it again. <laughs> so, we got this all put back together. Nice work, James. Good to go, man. Yeah, so what we have to do, though, to get this tire on, check this out. We were able to get the tie rod in, you know, all that stuff where you saw before. And you can check out my other video how to install those things. And this video for the inner tie rod. Got the boot on, got it all clamped down. So because it was tilting, we couldn't go any higher than this. So we ended up digging out the ground a little bit. We tried not to mess with the trail, but it was leaning and sliding out that way so we had to do something without giving it any more lift um so we ended up digging that out but we'll place that dirt back in maybe drive over it once or twice to kind of try to pack it but um but that's what we did got the got it on fire it up and we're gonna see how it goes but you can see that jack how much it's leaning right there so yeah there we go Break. 
brakes are good. Beautiful. There you go. Turn the wheels. They're both turning now. Imagine that. Cool. Not too shabby. Maybe out a little. Yeah. Renegade is running. Replace the dirt. Tried to pack it down a little. The t it's towed out just slightly, but overall it should work. Getting it out of here, and then we'll make final adjustments off of the trail. But uh, we'll see if it works. Getting out of here. Appreciate it, James. One You're the way. man. One way. All right, let's get on this trail. I'm not gonna lie, I am extremely nervous to drive this out of here, but we're gonna do it because we have to. All right. James is behind me there. Making sure I get out of here. James, you're the man, bro. Can't tell you thank you enough. And I look forward to being your friend. You're a good dude. Okay. James is going to try that hole. Let's see this. That is a big old rock right there. Oh, You're hitting a rock. You can do it. Close your window. Oh, you have it. Roll up your window so you can get it going. You you have it. You can do it. It's rolled in the bottom. Oh, is it? Hey, just bump it. I've seen how that goes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, 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 <laughs> we made it back loading up do you have a name for this truck you named it yet oh loading up the yoda <laughs> airing up my tires made it out the what the rusty family wagon we can call it rusty <laughs> the beast man this thing was awesome today Got to give me a collection. That's probably 500 horsepower right there. Get on Facebook. Search Alaska Pirate Off-Road. Give them a like. James and his buddy started this group. Great people. Definitely good people to be willing with.